All right, uh, Mike Henderson here again with uh, continuing with um, typesetting your novel using Scribus. This is right where we left off. So we got this nice solid block of text, um, and that's what we want. Nice and even. Uh, there's nothing wrong. There's no widows and orphans. So we just kind of hunt and uh, hunt and destroy, seek and destroy uh, problems. Um, so let's see. I look at this line, and really you could just kind of get it line by line. I don't like all this space here. Uh, probably the best thing to do would be to try to. There's a couple things you can do. You can hyphenate it. But do I want to hyphenate B E and have that there? Probably not. Behavior? No. Okay. So this is where I can go to uh, do the F2. And if I uh, go to my advanced settings and I decrease by 1% the space in between the lines, you see what happened? Made a subtle change. It's not going to be obvious on the text. You know, if I zoom in and look at this, is it anything that stands out? Not really, see? And that's the, uh, that's the idea. So. As you go through here and, and look for it, look for things. Uh, you know, this this is, you know, it's not that bad. You can probably live with it. I like to go back so I have a wider view of this. And uh, that's pretty much how we do it now. Let's see what happens here. This is uh, the end of the text. Now, let's go back up for a second. That's the text itself. Now, if you remember right, we um, applied, just remember, I didn't bother to straighten this out, but this is where you would go back and uh, format it however you would like it to be. Okay, blank page, blank. First page of chapter, no header. Okay, that's the way it is, and that's the way I want it. And that is, by the way, so let's look at our styles. We go to, uh, uh, not edit, page. Now, not styles, master page. Let, 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 let's do edit. Let's look at them for a second. Master pages, and we have uh, normal right is blank. Normal left, also blank. And then uh, first right-hand page has the title of the book and the page number, and the first left-hand page has the title of the book and the page number. I noticed that this guy had that, which tells me, for some reason, he thinks it's too small, so I don't know, let's, let's make it a little bigger. See if we can get that to go away. Let's see if it has any effect on what we do. So those are our page, our master pages. And as I mentioned before, that that is the key to making this whole thing fly. And it is also one of the things that makes this so much easier, in my view, to use than a word processor. Because it doesn't take you long to figure out in a word processor that changing the uh, 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 headers and footers for each chapter can be frustrating. I found it to be almost impossible, honestly. But uh, All right, so I'm going to highlight this page, select this page rather, which you can tell because it's got the red around it. I'm going to go to Page, Apply Master Page, and I'm going to apply it not only to the current page, but I want it applied to all such pages which is a left-hand page. So this is a this will be our uh, first left-hand page. So it's really the first left-hand page after the beginning of the chapter. Now you notice it says uh, even and odd in all pages. Well, I don't want all pages because they're not all left-hand pages. Now, I, I don't want to have to do every single page, so I'm going to tell it all even pages because if you look at a book, uh, the left-hand page is always an even number. So that's what they're talking about, so the even page. And 
I don't want, now if I do this, and, and that's all, then it's going to do all even pages, even backwards. So that's the one thing to rub, get your head around. So I go within range, so I'm on page 12, as this says down here. So I got 15 pages, I'm on page 12, and I'm going to um, uh, make that a left-hand page with, the, with, my, uh, with my name and the page number on all pages after that that are or at least are the ones that are already here. So I go OK, boom, up comes uh, my name. And here we have the problem with the page number. I don't know why. So let's go back to Edit Master Pages and see if we can fix that. First left-hand page doesn't show up being a problem here, but let's just enlarge it. back here. Oops, okay. Sometimes this does things that are beyond explanation, but usually will straighten itself out given enough time. So if I get down here where there's text, okay. If I got a left-hand page, it's got the page number, so uh, that's okay. I don't know what the problem was. Now, I'm going to go to the first right-hand page. All right, so here's the right-hand page. As we mentioned, chapter begins on the right-hand page. We'll go down to the next page after that. Oops, come on. Sometimes it, 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 it gets cranky. Plus, I don't exactly have the, uh, the most high Wamba Dine computer there is. So, again, I'm going to go to Pages, Apply Master Page. I want odd pages because the right-hand side of the book is odd. I want it to be from that page forward, and I want it to be a first right-hand page. Okay. And there it is. So let's see if it strains itself out. So we have... It's doing that. I don't. I'm not sure why. So let's again go to edit uh, master pages and see what its uh, problem is there. First right hand page, and there's that. I don't know if it wants wants me to make it bigger. There we go. All right. Well, that thing went away, so let's just go with it. And Go up here, and our left-hand page has a page number over here. Now, we got a problem. We're going to have to fix that. And this is working. So we, uh, the left-hand page, I want my name. Right-hand page is that. Uh, this should be over here. So sometimes these little buggers happen, and you have to try to fix it. So, okay, so I can see what it is. So I uh, go to F2 and the text, and I tell it I want to be left justified, and hopefully that did it. Oops, I've got to highlight it. Okay, so this is actually I think this is one of the things that we discovered. Um, I want uh, first line no indent. For whatever reason, when you apply the um, um, styles, it goes across the board, including that little text box. So that's what the problem was. Um, you see, so we had set up a style where it's going to be first line indent, and it did it even on all the text boxes you create, including the one on the header. So that's keep that in mind if you because we set it up right and all of a sudden it's not right and the reason uh, was the styles we set up afterwards went across there so that's the way we want that and when we continue we're going to look at how to